What's going on guys? This is Burrs. I want to show you the test today of the Eddie Bauer Igniter 20. I did this test in 25 degrees and this is part of the sleeping bag clinic of 2016 where I take a whole bunch of sleeping bags, I take them outside with some, uh, some products like some wireless uh, thermometers, test them out and see how warm the bag can get uh, within 30 minutes. And today I'm going to show you the Eddie Bauer Igniter 20. As far as the protocol for the test, it's real simple. I wear the same clothing for all tests. I go outside 10 minutes before with all of the equipment um, and set it out there for at least 10 minutes to chill off and get myself acclimated to the weather. Uh, don't want to come right from the inside to the outside and get a horrible review then, a horrible test then. So usually, you know, by 10 minutes in, in 25 and lower, uh, you're feeling relatively cold and everything's chilled off and all the, the warmth is out of everything. Uh, so it's a good way to start the test. So I take the, uh, the instrument, the uh, wireless thermometer, stick it right here on my chest. I uh, just let it sit there for 30 minutes and I sit in the bag for 30 minutes and uh, see how warm I can get. So let's talk about this one right here. This uses a uh, ClimaShield Apex insulation. So it's a synthetic insulation. Uh, this is, like I said, the 20, so it's Igniter 20. So they call it 30 degrees for um, their comfort and they call it 20 degrees for their uh, limit. You can go lower in extreme conditions, but 20 degrees is the limit, 30 is the comfort. And I'll be honest, uh, doing this test really showed me that um, their rating system is very, very accurate um, in my opinion. So in this test, I went outdoors 25 degrees and I uh, started the test, uh, the thermometer was around 44 degrees um, and uh, got in the bag, tested it out. After five minutes, uh, I was around 47 degrees, which is, it's all right, you know, it's a warm up of, you know, getting in the bag, starting to warm up. Um, and compared to the VOD, which I just put a uh, video out on, you know, it's about three degrees colder. Um, so it doesn't warm up initially as fast, um, which was, uh, it's always interesting to see how these bags compare to each other when you do the exact same test uh, in the exact same conditions. After 10 minutes, this thing was around 62 degrees. It was about 62.7. So by 10 minutes, it was actually warmer as far as the temperature compared to each bag uh, than the VOD. Uh, I haven't gotten the other one out from Mountain Hardware, but the only ones I tested that night were uh, the VOD and this one. So it was a little bit warmer than that one. Um, the one thing I will say about this Eddie Bauer is the, um, the baffle that goes around the chest and the cinch system is really different. Um, it does let in some cold air. It, it's not a huge baffle right here, so leaving drafts in if you move around, um, that definitely happens and you can't cinch it down as easy as I could uh, some of the other ones I have. Um, so that was one thing I noticed and I, I was saying to myself, because I talked to myself throughout the video so I can have notes um, that I film when I'm doing the test, I said to myself, um, I can really see that this one's not going to be as warm as the VOD because in the VOD I could really kind of get into a cocoon. Um, I couldn't replicate that. Um, and in the past I reviewed the Sierra Design Mobile Mummy where again I could really get into a cocoon which really keeps that warmth in. Um, so that's uh, one thing I did notice. After 15 minutes this bag was at 68.4 degrees which again is one degree warmer than the VOD. Um, you know it started out kind of uh, cold as far as you know the first five minutes it took a little while to warm up. Uh, but you know, as it's going up, it's definitely warming up at a quicker ration, ration, a quicker rate than the uh, than the VOD. So I'm always interested to see how insulation works. This uh, Climate Shield Apex is different than the Prima Loft Infinity in the VOD, and uh, what I'm seeing is is that this is um, kind of an uneven uh, performer as far as warmth goes. Um, and you'll see that after 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, we're at 72.7, and it's starting to go down. The VOD's continuing, continuing to go up by a few degrees, about two degrees uh, over this one. Uh, but this one's starting to kind of tip off and find its, its uh, you know, high end point. Um, so at that point of 20, to 20 minutes, um, the bag's starting to dip a little bit as far as the warmth. Uh, was I warming it? I wasn't cold, um, obviously, being 74 degrees, 77 degrees, etc. You know, I wasn't cold in the bag, uh, but I could definitely tell the difference between the two uh, bags I was testing that night. After 30 minutes, we're at 77.8 degrees. Uh, so we're about a degree and a half, two degrees lower than the VOD. You can see it starting, you can see in the graph that they're both starting to go different ways. So one has a nice general um, consistent, um, you know, warm, warm up as far as the VOD. And with the Eddie Bauer, it was just a little bit more of a, uh, I call it a prickly warm up. It was kind of up and down uh, a little bit throughout. Um, so that's the one thing I noticed with it. Um, 
you know, I think the as far as this bag rating goes, I think they're really spot on with this. If I were to use this in 30 degrees, I'd have no problems whatsoever. Pushing it to 25, which is in between the uh, the limit and the comfort, um, I could kind of feel that it was in between a limit and the comfort. Um, you could tell that if I were to go to 20 degrees, which I am, um, if I was around 20 degree mark, I probably might be a little bit chilly. Um, but again, that's their limit with the extreme of 14. Um, they really nailed it with their their comfort ratings, and I've seen that in the past with some of the other bags I, I have from Eddie Bauer. Um, so if you guys are looking for an Eddie Bauer bag and you see uh, the the one the limits they have and the comfort ratings and all that, they're pretty damn accurate with them. So next up is to take this thing to an extreme, you know, 20, maybe around 18 to 21 degrees, somewhere around there, depending on what it is the night I find uh, time to do it. And uh, that's our next test to see how this thing performs at uh, as limit. So if you guys have any questions or anything, go ahead and let me know. If you guys have some Eddie Bauer sleeping bags, go ahead and put that in the comments down below or better yet, make a video about it. Stay tuned and until next time, later. There are 45 degrees as a starting point.